How would local emergency crews respond if Salt Lake City was targeted by terrorists? That was the focus of a training exercise at Salt Lake International tonight, giving us an inside look at how they would manage a terrorist attack. Chris Miller joining us now live. And Chris, how are things running at the airport tonight? Guys, it's business as usual here at Salt Lake International Airport tonight. Flights are coming and going. Really the only area they dedicated to this exercise today was a parking lot and one tracks line. You can imagine if this was a real terrorist scenario, it would be a much different story and probably the airport would be shut down. A hazmat team led by the Utah National Guard cautiously approaches a tracks train. You haven't had a breathing? We need to get you away from this area. A few hours earlier, this was the scene. Civilians stumble off the train at Salt Lake International, <laughs> coughing and wheezing. According to the scenario that played out here, a terrorist suspect boarded this train, left behind a backpack containing a chemical agent, and activated that with his cell phone. <laughs> Police and firefighters were the first on the scene, securing the area and assisting the injured. The victims were quickly triaged and decontaminated after exposure to deadly toxins. Who do we have on scene? The FBI is the next on the scene. This entry, we're going to try to accomplish the incident commander's objectives number one and two. After a briefing, their investigation is underway. The hazmat team combs through the train to determine what chemical was used and how to neutralize it. They locate a suspicious backpack and carefully analyze the contents. You remember seeing the bike seat before? FBI and police remotely access UTA security cameras, looking for a suspect that matches witness descriptions. The backpack is all she's got with it. And guys, the training exercises, as I said, took place on the tracks line here at Salt Lake International, just on the south side of Terminal 1. And I can see here behind me about 200 yards away, they're just now wrapping up. This whole thing began at 4 o'clock today. Invaluable resource for these guys moving forward. Mark and Shauna. Well, that's for sure. Never know when the real thing might hit, right, Chris? Very true. All right, thanks.